the Independent Investigative Panel on Human Rights Violations by Defunct SARS and other units of the Niger Police Force has continued to unearth shocking revelations on the activities of the defunct SARS. Uh, they hear in seven case. Our correspondent Idong Joseph reports. The panel resumed for the day's activity with seven cases slated for hearing. A first witness revealed how his brother, Peter Ekwalo, was killed in custody after being unlawfully detained and tortured by the police. Sir, based on your question, Peter Ekwalo is my cousin brother. When he was arrested, you let me know where he was detained. Listen, listen. Were you there when they killed Peter? No, That's no, just I, was, I was not there. I wasn't was there. All you know is that he was, he was killed alive. in police custody. Yes, sir. Another petitioner, Dorothy Nabodi, also claimed that her husband was shot by police personnel in their residence in Anambra State. Because we gave back, 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 they can't shoot them, but if they are dead, they are dead, they are not going to do anything. As they shoot them, people come and run, I mean, I can't come and say, after listening to the petitioners, the panel ordered a summon be issued to the officers concerned before March the 24th. They also threatened a warrant of arrest if the summon is disobeyed, saying the panel is more concerned with cases bordering on infringement on human rights and not replacing a court of law. It's about duty. It's about duty. The panel's duty to unravel all that is needed. It's not even you or even the resident. Your duty is to give us evidence and to also unravel. That's why we are investigating. So we have the power right therefore to give names, to call names, to call documents where even the petitioner cannot produce it so that we can get at the, the truth. So I think uh, the body is on us to unravel whatever that is, uh, is hidden, not necessarily on you or even the petitioner. Another petitioner, Timothy Ogbeyi, a car dealer, narrates how he was unlawfully arrested, detained, and tortured without trial for four months by the defunct SARS personnel. They say I make sure that the dog, I should be barking like dog, and I will be barking. They ask me that, okay. What's the name of my wife? I told them. They said, okay, I should meet with my wife the way I normally do. And I should leave until something comes out from my private part. Meaning that I should do that. I got released. After like three months, I was in detention. I had to start calling my, my, my nephew. That please, take me to court. Whatever I'll say, you say I did. No problem. Charge me that offense. But let me go to court. They refuse. However, Upon being cross-examined by the panel, a mild drama ensued as Ogwei slumped. The panel adjoined its seating. Idong Joseph, Plus TV, Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.